Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Amy Yevin, and today I am here doing a sort of big review for you guys. Review try on what you ever want to call it. So this is from BoxyCharm. It is Boxy Pop Up, and I'm just going to go through and show you guys what I got. And some of the things I am going to be swatching and using on camera for you guys so you can see how they work and how they end up looking. It's probably mostly going to be lip products that I'm doing that with because I don't think I really have... Well, I think I do have an eye thing. I guess I'm going to start off by showing you some things that I did get. I'm not necessarily going to be using on camera, such as these Spongel Bourbon Vanilla All-in-One Beauty Treatment Body Wash and Fuse Buffer. I have been seeing everyone just scoop these up during pop-up, so I was like, you know what? I've got to try one of these. So these, I think, are originally $12. I got them for 4 and this is what they look like. It's like a little actual loofah that's already got... The body wash infused with it because like most of us i think we just use you know a separate loofah and a separate body wash and pour it on there so this is infused and you just use it the same way you would use a regular loofah so i am hoping because i like a more i guess rough exfoliating loofah the one i use so i'm hoping this is a little bit not rough but you know more exfoliating than just a soft buffer i can tell you that the smell smells so good i did get four of those the butte teeth whitening kit and it is a 15 minute teeth whitening kit and this one actually only comes with one little syringe and it comes with a little mouthpiece and the little light and so i've never used one of these before the only reason why i got this is because i've always just kind of wanted to try it and see you know if it's any good or not so i will use this and end up getting back to you guys and letting you know the next thing is this Paracone MD Vitamin C Ester Citrus Brightening Cleanser. And it just looks like this. Now, I have not used this before, so I'm going to be using this and getting back with you guys. Okay, so this comes in like a really nice glass frosted kind of bottle. It says lather a quarter size amount in hands, gently, gently massage on your face morning and evening. Follow with moisturizer. So it just kind of has like an ever so slight vitamin C kind of smell to it. It actually has that kind of a smell to it. And so in the box, it actually comes with a little pump that you put in it. And so the ingredients in this is vitamin C, uh, DMA, DMAE, which is an intensive firming naturally produced by the human brain. It helps visibly lift sagging skin over time. It has a copper complex, with, which is powerful skin strengthening hydration. And it doesn't say, okay, the rest of the only, okay, the ingredients are on the bottom. So it's water. Hmm. For something that is typically as expensive as this is, the second ingredient is sodium lauryl sulfate. So I will end up trying this, obviously, and using it and letting you guys know how I feel about that. So the next two products are not makeup or skincare related. They are just something I picked up because I couldn't pass up on it. So this little lucky cat has four little interchangeable hands, as you can see, that you can change to. The reason why I got this is actually for my daughter, because where we go to uh, get sushi and stuff, they have the little cat that does like this, and she absolutely loves that cat. So I, I actually just got that for her. Um, the other thing I got was these Bando gel, gel, yeah, gel pen set, which just looks like these. So if you're a 90s kid like me, then you probably used those gel pens at some point in time. You know what I'm talking about. You know the gel pens I'm talking about. So let's see how. Oh my gosh. I don't know if you can see it. The light may be too bright. But yeah, it's got that same jelly kind of texture to it as those pens. So I'm super excited to use these. But there's a silver, a gold, a glittery red, glittery green, it's hard to say, glittery pink, glittery yellow, and glittery blue. So let's see how this glittery yellow one looks. It does actually have little flecks of glitter. You can't really see the glitter on there. And I wish I had a piece of paper near me, but I don't. The next two things that I got were the Murad Hydration Hydrodynamic Ultimate Mulch... Hydrodynamic Ultimate Moisture. Oh, I keep saying moisture. Hydrodynamic Ultimate Moisture for Eyes. Okay, so I got two of these because I really liked, um, I used this before, 
and I really liked just how hydrated it left my under eye area feeling. I really do not like having a dry like surrounding area right here at all and so I really like using just a little pat of this at night just to kind of help me feel that moisture back in there. I was going to use these on camera today but I am just really pressed for time. And so something literally just came up. I just got a phone call right before I sat down to start filming that I have to do something else now. And it's just everything is taking up so much time lately that I just don't have a lot of time. So, <laughs> so I was going to use these on camera, but I'm not today. I may still use these on camera on a different day. I may use some of these products on a different day than today also. So these are the Hank and Henry sponges. I got two of them. They are called Tiftini. It says contour multi-use sponge. And so I had that sponge from them, the Medora one, and I really ended up loving that Medora sponge. So I grabbed two of these while I could. I hope they become just as big and soft as the Medora one did because that one is just so good. All right, so the next products are some products I am actually gonna try to show you guys. So this is the Metalist Liquid Glitter Topper Romantic Rose Look is the shade from Touch in Soul. And so this is literally just as it says a liquid glitter topper. So I have never used this. But like I said, this is the color Romantic Rose Look. Okay. Oh, that's weird. Okay. So it comes literally in one cap. And so it comes out just like that. So like a nail polish comes out. Cool. Okay. So this is the shade Mono White. Mono. Okay. It's got a little doe foot applicator. This is the shade Rose Sand. And this is the shade Urban Bronze. It's a weird name. Let me rub this one around. Okay, so I think I'm going to take, let's take this brown one, the Urban Bronze one, and try to use it on our eye and see how that looks. So I do have a little bit of just a neutral eyeshadow on. So this is like those Stila Metalist or whatever they're called eyeshadows. That's what it reminds me of just less pigmented I guess yeah I feel like it just adds a nice little glitter finish to the top of your eye look because I had on just completely matte neutral eyeshadows and it just gives it a little glittery wet kind of appearance to the eye so the next thing is this lime crime wet cherry and this is an ultra shiny lip gloss in the shade tangy cherry we're just gonna somehow break the seal off of that this is actually I think only the second thing I've ever tried from Lime Crumb. Okay, so it comes in like this almost classic 90s looking container. Uh, the lid honestly looks a little cheap to me. If you can see like where it's really transparent. It is an enormous doe foot <laughs> applicator. It does smell like cherry. It smells kind of like cough syrup cherry. You know what I mean? It is really pigmented. And it is very glossy. It is, it's really pretty though. I do like this kind of a orangey red shade for myself. This is a MAC Retro Matte Lipstick in the shade Flat Out Fabulous. And she is pretty. Let's see. Okay, so it's like a fuchsia-y kind of shade. It doesn't really look good with what I'm wearing right now or the eye makeup, but it is a really pretty pink shade. I do like that. The next one is also from MAC. It is called Tropic Tonic. I got this for specifically a summer shade because of just the color of it or how it looked online anyway. So yeah, it looks like an orange sherbet kind of color. Ooh. Okay, so this, like I was thinking, would be a really pretty summery shade. So the next one is two, well, the next two are two things I was really excited to try. This one is the Ciate London Glitter Storm Lipstick in the shade Apollo in this adorable packaging. I have been wanting to try this lipstick for so long. 
oh my gosh look at how cute this packaging is that is freaking cute okay so this is absolutely gorgeous i mean look at how freaking pretty that is jesus that's pretty okay and it's very metallic as you can see it's got a metallic sheen to it but it also has the glitter in it and I really like this shade. It's like super cool toned. It's very cute. So I've been so excited to try this one. This is the Hank and Henry Satin Cream Lipstick. I really like this packaging. It's got like that smoothness to it, but it's also like that frosted glass kind of appearance. This is in the shade Tiamo. I chose this because it looked like a very red orange kind of shade. And that to me, I really like that. I really feel like it suits my skin well, being that I'm warm toned. And look at how freaking adorable the packages so you push the top and the lipstick actually comes out of the bottom Jesus that's so pretty look at how pretty this is I mean that is honestly so freaking pretty we're gonna swatch it Ooh. so from my understanding this is supposed to look glittery but not on your lips so we'll see so I really really think this is a nice shade the lipstick itself feels really nice and there's absolutely no glitter in the actual lipstick i don't know how they do it but there's none in the actual lipstick that is on my lips it feels really good it feels really creamy it feels really soft and i really do like that so the last so i have a lip liner in here from becca cosmetics the ultimate lip definer in the shade pouty and i already have one of these but not in this shade so i needed like a nude shade so the last two things I have are from NARS. They are the Power Matte Lip Pigments. And this box for some reason is like really soft, has that soft feeling to it. And this just feels like a regular box. So I don't know why they feel different. But this one is called You're No Good. It just looks like this. Ooh, dang. Okay, so this is like a really different kind of doe foot. It's kind of like pointy. Okay, so this, I don't know if this is supposed to dry to like a matte finish or what, but, and be like a matte lipstick. It kind of feels like it is, but it does feel really nice. It doesn't feel overly drying, so I'll be interested to see how this is going to hold up throughout the day. As far as the color goes, I really love this color. It's like a, it's like a berry pinky red. It's not really berry. It's not really pink. It's not really red. It's like a mixture of all of those things, and I really like how that looks. All right, so this is the shade Give It Up, and this one looks like this. It's a little more of like a purpley berry shade than the last. I really do like that applicator because since it's not just a doe foot, it's got like a point to it. You can be really like much more precise with where you're putting it and how it looks. But just the pigmentation and the opacity of these are really, really nice. So yeah, that is all for today's video. Um, I know I haven't posted. I did not post last week. Um, I actually have been a little bit, I wouldn't say sick. Um, I guess just not super well with a pre-existing ailment I already have. So it's not what's happening outside in the world. It's just something I already kind of deal with. Um, but I wasn't feeling super well last week. So that's why I didn't have anything that I could post or either this week so far. I don't remember. I guess last week but with also Christmas coming up I'm probably not gonna be posting anything during Christmas week um, so after that I should get back to my regular routine Tuesday and uh, Thursday videos so make sure you guys subscribe I post typically every Tuesday and Thursday and I'll see you guys next time bye